Hello everyone. Welcome to this venkatsacademy.com. Here we are going to solve a problem basing on relative velocity. First of all, let me read out the problem for you. The problem is like this. A man is walking towards the east at 4 km per hour. Let us try to visualize before even I read the problem further. What's the meaning of this? You know on the paper generally always the directions are shown like this. This is where we show east. Obviously this will become the west. If I draw a perpendicular line, this is how even on the maps all these directions are shown. This is north. This is south. So it is given that a man is walking at 4 km per hour speed velocity towards east. So if I have to represent that man, he is traveling from west towards the east with a speed of 4 kmph. So what is given for you is nothing but velocity of the man. Nothing is mentioned is means this is with respect to ground. So I am calling it as velocity of the man with respect to ground as 4 kmph. You know it is along a positive x axis. We can show it with a plus i cap. Negative x axis with a minus i cap. Positive y axis with plus j cap negative y axis minus j cap. So I can call it as 4 i cap. That's the first part of the problem. A man is walking on the road with a speed of 4 km per hour towards east. East is shown with an i cap in our problem. Let's continue our uh, problem further. It is given that there is a rain. How is that it is raining is at 6 km per hour velocity at 30 degree with the vertical towards the east as we have mentioned this is the east so it's raining towards the east this way this is the velocity of the rain towards the east that's why I have drawn towards the east otherwise I could have drawn towards the west making an angle 30 degree with the vertical whose value is 6 kmph so what is given for you is velocity of the rain nothing mentioned means again that is with respect to ground its value is 6 but this 6 I cannot say it's just along i cap or j cap because it is in between because it's in between x and y so I have to resolve this velocity into components let us try resolving this 6 into components because it's a velocity. It can be resolved into components. As I told you earlier, the components will be always along the direction of the vector. This vector is like this. Therefore, this will be one component of that. And this will be one more component of that. You must be noticing the directions. The direction of the components shall be along the direction of the vectors itself. So this will be the, say, one component its component this value could be something like uh, if I have written as 6 cos 30 I have to say minus j cap why because this is not going towards a positive y axis rather it is going towards a negative y axis it's not going up rather it is going down so it is a minus j cap and this value is 6 opposite component is sine 30 and it is coming towards the positive x-axis along the east therefore it is plus i cap so this 6 vector has to be resolved as components as 6 cos 30 minus j cap plus 6 sin 30 plus i cap so I can rewrite this value as 6 you know cos 30 is root 3 by 2 minus j cap 6 sin 30 is half i cap so its value is this is 3 times 3 root 3 minus j cap plus 3 i cap that's the second vector that he has given in the problem now he want what is the velocity of the rain with respect to the man, this is the critical part, 
what I need to calculate in this problem. So what I want further is velocity of the rain with respect to man. So it is a, a combined vector. I can rewrite this vector as velocity of the rain with respect to ground plus velocity of the ground with respect to man. Notice what I have written. I have written velocity of the rain with respect to man as velocity of the rain with respect to ground plus velocity of the ground with respect to man. So I have taken something intermediate. The ground I have taken as an intermediate in both the cases. So I am I have added here at a later part for the velocity of the ground and I have added velocity of the ground in the second part in the first part. So these two will cancel each other and I will get back my velocity of the rain with respect to man itself. But velocity of the rain with respect to ground plus it's very clear it is a man moves on the ground. Ground will never move on the man, you know. Therefore, I have to write this as minus velocity of the man with respect to ground. I have reversed the vector ground to man to man to ground. Therefore, it is nothing but a negative vector. So, velocity of the rain with respect to man is velocity of the rain with respect to ground minus velocity of the man with respect to ground. I know already velocity of the man with respect to ground. I know the velocity of the rain with respect to ground. Now simply I need to substitute. Velocity of the rain with respect to ground is this much. That is how much? 3i minus 3 root 3 j cap minus velocity of the man with respect to ground is nothing but equal to 4i. So the velocity of the rain with respect to man is 3i minus 4i minus i cap minus 3 root 3 j cap. This is the answer that we are expected to calculate. Suppose in the problem, in any given problem, you don't want it in a vector format, but you want it as if I kind of I say for example what is the magnitude is the options given. Do you know how to find the magnitude of any vector? Root of its x component square minus 1 whole square who is a product of i cap and y component square plus minus 3 root 3 whole square. This is the magnitude root of x component square and y component square that is nothing but equal to 1 plus 9 and 3 nothing but equal to 27. So the value is going to be equal to root 28 meter per second. So, the last year of that particular body is nothing but equal to root 28 meter per second whose value if we calculate it will be 5.3 sorry it won't be meter per second but because all the data are given in terms of kilometer per hour. So, this data also will become automatically kilometer per hour. One more point I want to add to this discussion. We may also ask you what is the direction of this velocity of the rain with respect to man? That is also an important thing that we can identify. We can find the direction as you can see it is in a minus i cap. Minus i cap means somewhere here. And it is a minus j cap, it is somewhere here. So the resultant vector velocity of the rain with respect to man is somewhere here. This is minus i cap and a minus 3 root 3 j cap. He may also ask you what is the angle that it is making with a horizontal or vertical. We can simply write something like this angle is equal to alpha. Then I can write tan alpha as this is i component. i component is nothing but equal to minus 1. This is the j component that is nothing but equal to minus 3 root 3. That is nothing but equal to 1 by 3 root 3. So I can also write alpha as tan inverse of 1 by 3 root 3. Its value can be calculated. It is in between west and uh, south. So I can say west of south. This value can be further calculated using any tangent logarithm kind of a box. This is how I need to solve the problem of relative velocity. Thank you for watching.
keep coming back for more and more videos thank you